Hi, my beautiful angels. I hope you guys are all well. It has been a while since I've just sat down and played with makeup. So I'm going to be trying out a whole bunch of new makeup that I've been picking up and some of the stuff I've been sent, some of the stuff I bought. And I can't wait because there's some things here which I'm dying to put on my face. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. The button is just down there. It's completely free. But that way you guys get to keep up to date with all my new updates uploads and there is a little bell next to the subscribe button and if you hit that that's going to notify you every time I do upload. So and now that we have got that all out of the way I am gonna get starting. First thing is first I'm going to prime. I've got two primers here this one is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer and it is a primer and moisturizer and then this one is the Milk Blur Stick. I feel like I'm gonna use the Smashbox one only because I haven't moisturized my face. This is really, really runny. I don't know if I was supposed to uh, shake the bottle or something, but <laughs> let's just give this a go. Um, it's very, very watery, um, but it feels really nice and light, um, almost too light. So I don't know how well it's gonna do at priming, but we're just gonna roll with it. It does make my skin feel really really nice and smooth and it's got a really nice kind of like glowy look to it. For foundation I actually picked up this new one a couple of weeks ago. It's from Maybelline and I love the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and I cannot believe the discontinuing it. They are keeping the matte and poreless but the dewy like the original fit me you know that really glowy foundation they've got rid of. We're gonna try this one out. This is the Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. I'm hoping this color is gonna match me. I just realized I picked up this color corrector from Maybelline as well. I used to use Maybelline all the time and I'm so glad that I picked these up because I'm hoping these will be just as good as the base products that I remember using. This is the pink one. I couldn't find like a orangey one. I could find like a red, which I wasn't too keen on putting on my skin tone because red correctors definitely work better on deeper skin tones. And I feel like this hopefully will do the trick. I've got to wet my beauty blender. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Hopefully this hasn't dried and I can blend this out, but I've cleaned my beauty blender. And let's see how this color corrector Correct. Blends in really, really easily actually into the skin. Me likey. I feel like I'm coming down with something. But by the time this video goes up, I will be in India. I would have done my meet and greet. I am so excited because obviously this is like in the past me. I'm so excited to be in India. Now that I've blended all of that away, I'm going to go in with this foundation. This is in the shade 36 Warm Sun. And I feel like this is going to be a little bit too dark for me. But we're just going to have to work with it because I don't have any other shades. I've taken like three pumps of this on the back of my hand. Actually, do you know what? We might be good on the shade selection. This is pretty full coverage. Okay, I have to put some in my ear just so that it all makes sense. But wow, that is nice coverage. <gasps> Ooh, that is really, really nice, you know, you guys. So far, so good. Gotta see how it looks on my nose because generally foundations come off on my nose area. But the coverage is really, really good. Even when I'm layering this up, on my nose it's not like caking up and i'm actually really liking it i'll show you guys a close-up in a sec so you guys can see what it looks like up close and personal actually do you know what i'm just gonna zoom you guys in hopefully now that you're zoomed in you can see a little bit more of how nice it looks it does look a little bit yellow on screen i'm just gonna drag this down but in real life it looks really really nice i'm genuinely really impressed with the coverage of this foundation and also the finish of it, it is quite matte, but it's still got that like glow to it. You can kind of see my skin still kind of like shining through and it's covered pretty much all of my freckles. There are some of them kind of peeking through, but I quite like that. I'm just going to see actually how well it performs when I double up the coverage. So I'm just going to do it exactly where like my freckles are. It actually blends in really nicely. I think it has oxidized slightly, but... I'm not mad. I really like this so far. I'm very interested to see how this holds up. Maybe I'll do a wear test of this foundation because so far I'm really, really, really liking it. Concealer wise, I haven't really picked up a new concealer, but a new concealer that I have been really, really liking is the YSL All Hours Concealer. This I believe is in the shade number two and we are just gonna go ahead and 
highlight and conceal and brighten all the areas that I love concealing and highlighting. And I'm also gonna be blending all of that out with my Beauty Blender as well. To set all those areas in place, I'm actually gonna take the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit. I feel like this is very, very similar to the one that Chloe Morello launched in Australia. It looks like this. I'm gonna take the yellow shade and put that underneath my eyes just to set all of those areas that we concealed. I thought these would be really heavy because they look quite heavy like in the pan especially the yellow but it actually sticks really really nicely on my skin i've also gone over my eyelids with my concealer because i know a lot of you guys don't like it when i put foundation on my eyelids but i thought i'd go with concealer this time because i know this one doesn't really crease so hopefully now my eyelids are also prepped for when we add the eyeshadow i feel like you wouldn't be able to layer this too much because it is looking a little a bit heavy and I'm gonna grab these two shades right here and just start contouring they are quite powdery but they are also really nice and pigmented and they blend out really well like without any effort at all do you know what I don't actually use that much Revlon makeup like none of it really screams to me if you know what I mean but this because I knew Chloe Morello worked on the collab in Australia I was like if it's anything similar to that I need to get it because it looks so stunning on her. So I don't actually have any new blushes, but I do have this Revolution Ultra Pro Glow Palette and there's a pink in here. When I saw this in Superdrug, I was like, why have I not seen you before? This has so many stunning highlight shades, but we're gonna go in with this pink one right here and I'm gonna plunk that color onto my cheeks. I know it's like a shimmery shade, but hopefully it can still give off some color. It just gives a very, very, very natural flush of pink. It's not really picking up on camera. But in my mirror, I can see that there's a really nice pink glow to my cheeks. And I also think this entire thing was like £10. And you get one, two, three, four, eight shades of highlights in here, which is insane. I can't wait to see what the actual highlight highlight shades look like on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm really excited about that. I'm going to do that next. I might just use this same brush. This brush, by the way, is a NYX number 24 brush. And it's really nice and big and fluffy. But I think I'm just going to take like the top three shades like this. And I'm going to add that to my cheekbones. <gasps> oh my god. That is pretty. Look how glowy my skin looks. Okay. I'm officially sold. This is so good. I feel like I can definitely go overboard though. These actually look so creamy on the skin. It doesn't look like a powder highlight, which I love. And I just love the way that my skin is glowing. Oh my God. I feel like this is gonna become one of my favorite drugstore highlight palettes. I totally forgot to contour my nose. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. Eh, that'll do. So, so far the skin I am loving. I'm loving the foundation and I'm obsessed with this highlight. But I think just because we're trying out new makeup and this trophy wife here from Fenty Beauty is new and I did go overboard with it in my Fenty review, but I'm gonna show you exactly how it will look like when you wear it not really heavily. Cause I wore it yesterday and so many people were like, oh my God, your highlight's really nice. I've literally dipped it in there once. You can kind of see there's pigment on there, but I just put the slightest amount onto my cheeks and it just gives it a slight, golden hue and it's not too glittery and you can go over with one more tap of it onto the cheeks and it's nothing too crazy and it's super 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 wearable so i just wanted to show you guys how you can totally use um trophy wife without going overboard and this is how it looks so the base is all done and i'm going to move on to eyes for brows i'm just going to slightly kind of clean them up and i'm going to use this charlotte tilbury brow lift it's new to me because i've been using it for about four weeks now like a month or so but I really like the way that I can quickly do my brows because of the shape of the pencil it's kind of like a triangle shape and it just means that I can fill my brows in super quick without having to be too neat because it kind of distributes the product and it kind of like blurs the product out as well so it's not like too sharp or anything i don't need to go too crazy when i'm filling my brows in because i do have them microbladed a lot of you guys have asked me where i get the microbladed so i will leave a link in the info box i get like foundation on my skin and then it does kind of change the color of my brows but that is the reason why i quickly kind of give them a little fill in but now i'm going to use the legendary brows which is also by charlotte tilbury again this isn't like a new product for me it's something that i've been using pretty much the same time as 
the previous brow product, but I really, really love this gel. This is my brows done. Hello. I've zoomed you guys in because we are moving on to eyes and I have the Laura Lee palette right here, which is the cat's pajamas palette. And this has some stunning matte shades in here. So I'm gonna use some of these matte shades for my crease. And then we're gonna go in with another palette. I don't know which one yet, I'll show you guys in a sec, um, for the rest of the eye. Let's first start off with the shade Bomb Diggity, which is this really beautiful like caramel brown. And we are going to put this into the crease. And this is actually blending out really, really nicely. But so far, it's looking really good. And it's actually really easy to build them up as well without them getting patchy. So that's always a must, especially for mattes. I found that mattes are generally the hardest to blend out because they can sometimes pull and tug in certain areas and like stick to certain areas, but this is blending really nicely. And this, you guys, is still the shade Bomb Diggity, so I am deepening it up quite a lot. I'm gonna add a little bit of Cray Cray into the crease as well, just to further deepen that up and to give it some more dimension. And I'm gonna try and concentrate this in the crease itself. And if you're wondering, I'm using the new Iconic London brushes, which are also so good. So far, everything that I've used has been really good. Oh. I'm taking some more of Bomb Diggity just to blur out the edges. I don't know whether you guys can tell on camera, but that's blended really, really beautifully. But I'm just going to deepen that a little bit more using the shade Kooky, which is more of like a purple tone. And that I'm going to concentrate even more so into the crease. And taking a clean, fluffy blending brush, I am blending all the edges away so there's no harsh lines or anything like that. So the other few new palettes that I have are the new NYX palettes. These are the new NYX Elements palettes, I believe. So here you have the NYX Wind palette, which are all very blue tone shadows. And you've got a couple of mattes in there as well. This one here is the Earth palette. This one has a few more mattes and slightly less shimmers, but some really, really gorgeous colors that you can do so many different looks in this palette. This is the Fire palette. This has probably got to be the most unusual palette that I've seen with the color selection in here. Again, super gorgeous colors, some really, really nice bright ones, and some stunning shimmery shades as well. And last but not least, this is the Metals palette. And these are all shimmery shades, which I feel like I want to play with and put on my eyeballs right this second. <laughs> to me, this shade right here is the one that's speaking to me. I feel like it's gonna go with the rest of the crease really well. But I am also loving this gold shade right here. I'm gonna swatch them both so we can see what they are like. And oh my God, they are beautiful. I'm gonna swatch these two as well because I feel like they do look slightly different on the lid compared to the pan. So these are the two right here. Again, very, very, very stunning. I think I'm just gonna go in with this shade right here because in certain lights, it looks really, really purple and then other lights, it looks very, very dark and almost kind of browny. So I'm gonna take that on my brush and I'm gonna start packing this bad boy on. Wow, this is pigmented. I thought I would get so much fallout on my under eye, but I actually don't have that much. So hats off to whoever formulated this because this has actually gone on really, really nicely on my eyelid. I'm just gonna take my fluffy blending brush and blend out the edges of that. I feel like this eye reminds me of like an autumn sunset. It's actually really pretty. I had no idea what I was gonna film. Just wanted to sit down and kind of play with makeup, but I'm really, really liking the way that the eyes have turned out. I need me some highlights on my brow bone. I feel like I'm gonna take this, no, I'm gonna take this shade from the Makeup Revolution highlight palette and we are gonna shove this on to our brow bone because I feel like the eye is looking a little bit matte up there. Whoa, do you see what I mean guys how pigmented this is? I need to somehow tone this bad boy down. That is pigmentation, whoa. Mascara time, and I'm gonna be using the new Urban Decay, where's the name? Troublemaker, I love, love, love this packaging. I've used this a couple of times. It really separates my lashes, and it also gives me daytime volume to my lashes. I actually went to the launch of this mascara in LA, and I met Nicole Ritchie, who, by the way, is just 
so cute and tiny and just amazing. She was so lovely and she was so friendly and it really took me back to my teenage years when I used to watch The Simple Life with her in Paris. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> I'm just gonna smoke out my lower lash line with a black eyeshadow and also my lower lash line mascara and then I'll be right back. I'm back with also some lashes on. In case you're wondering, I put some of the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in the shade Zero on my lash line and I also kind of slightly smudged it out and then I blended that line away with the shade Cray Cray. So that way it's got like a nice gradient of black and also a little bit of brown on the edges. But now we're gonna move on to one of the final steps and that is lipstick. I actually got sent the entire L'Oreal and Balmain lipstick collection. I saw Olivier the other day, um, not like we're besties or anything, but he was at the L'Oreal Paris fashion show, which I went down to Paris for literally like four hours and it was completely insane. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen my Instagram stories of the catwalk and it was just, it was out of this world. It's probably one of the best fashion shows I have ever, ever seen. And yeah, it was just one of the most incredible experiences Ever. and Olivier was there and it reminded me that I need to actually like try these lipsticks because I have all of these sitting here and I've not tried a single one so I think I'm gonna try a couple of different colors I'm gonna quickly do some swatches for you guys so you have power freedom legend and this gorgeous blue called rebellion this one's urban safari Balman instinct which is a really gorgeous like khaki shade fever and this one here is Glamazon. And then last but not least, we've got Liberation here, Confession. And then this one next to it, you can't really see, but it's like a nudie gold. It's very shimmery called Confidence. And then this shade over here called Domination. And I feel like Domination is the most pigmented. I literally did one swipe. I'm going to show you guys right now. I did one swipe and it's like pigmentation all over like you do not need to go over your lips over and over again with this shade one swipe and you're there i'm gonna show you guys two different lip options i'm gonna first go in with this purple shade called liberation because i've got purple tones on the eyes ignore the lack of lip liner but this is what this shade looks like on this whole look with the dramatic eyes and the dramatic lips definitely screams autumn to me. The formula of the lipstick is just like all of the other Colorish lipsticks, very, very comfortable to wear. And it's also got that cult Colorish smell to it. But now we're gonna get a nude on. <laughs> the nude I am gonna go in with is this one here. This is called Urban Safari. And because it is quite nude, I am gonna line my lips. This is Foxy Brown by Charlotte Tilbury. It is quite dark, but we're just gonna do a bit of like an ombre-ish lip. Lips aligned, and now I'm just gonna go in with Urban Safari. And I'm kind of like blending the lip line in as well. I'm not liking this combination with the uh, eyes, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Confession, just really slightly to kind of move it up. That is much better, and last but not least, I'm going to set my face. I am gonna use this Hangover 2-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray on my face. That smells exactly like peaches, but you guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed playing with some new makeup with me. For me, I feel like my base and my eyes are my favorite in all of the makeup products that I've used. And also, I would love to know if you guys want me to do a lip swatching video of all the L'Oreal and Balmain lipsticks, because there are some really cool colors in there, very unusual for kind of like a high street brand to bring out. So please let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see that. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. I have just loved sitting down and playing with makeup and just trying out some new things. I will leave links to all of the products that I have on my face in the info box below. So please don't forget to check that out. And yeah, I think that is all from me. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And yeah, that is all for now and I will see you all in my next video.